Welcome to Mrs. Elke's art class. I am Mrs. Elke. Maybe you have seen me around along with my husband, Pastor Elke, or my four kids, Ella, Aaron, Olivia, and Ian. We also have two guinea pigs. The one on the left's name is Hershey and on the right is Marshmallow. They love fresh lettuce and other veggies. Besides teaching art, I do a lot of other things. One of my favorite things is traveling and taking lots of pictures wherever I go. I have a nice camera that I use to take pictures that maybe I could paint in the future and really enjoy doing that. I also like to do a lot of art on my own. I like to paint different things and participate in different art activities with other artists. I enjoy painting Bible passages and things with those. I love doing watercolor portraits of people, of people's pets, mostly dogs, but other animals too. I also paint houses in ink and watercolor, and I've done a lot of Bible story paintings for preschoolers. I enjoy writing and illustrating books, and I also work for a company where I do painting tutorials online, and people from all over the world learn how to paint acrylic paintings with me. I also have a YouTube channel that I do with my children called Elky Art, where we create all kinds of fun painting and drawing tutorials. You will definitely see those this year during art class as I like to use them in class as well. Speaking of art class, I just wanted to give you a little idea of what to expect. So when coming to art class, you will be walking in a nice quiet line through the gym. When you come to the side door, you will stop and make sure I am ready for you. I should be at the door giving you a wonderful greeting to welcome you to the classroom. I will either have you come in and have a quiet seat on the carpet with your legs crisscross applesauce, hands in laps, voices off and ears listening, or I will have you come in and look at my screen to find your color and your number for where you will be sitting at the desk. Once you find your color and your number, you should find your spot and sit down nice and quietly so that you are ready to begin. Notice that all of our legs, of our chairs and our feet should all be touching the floor. Otherwise, you could have a disaster like these where you can hurt yourself by accidentally falling out of your chairs. We do not want to have this situation. I will be using your numbers and your colors to have you do things like get supplies for your table. Number three is getting supplies for her table. Then you will be ready to create art together. When we create art, we will work quietly at our tables using the supplies from the room. We make sure that we treat the supplies with respect and treat our classmates with respect as well so that we can all do our best work in class. When our time is up and it is time to go, I will ask that you put your supplies away. This would be things like closing your marker caps nice and tight and making sure they go back in the marker cup. And erasers go in the eraser cup, scissors in the scissors, glue in the glue, and so on. Wanting to make sure that everything goes back in its exact location and gets put away nice and neatly so the next class can use it as well. When everything is clean, I will use another number to put their things away and we will show that we are ready to leave the room. I will have you stand by your table, push in your chairs and wait quietly for me to call your table color. Once I say your color, like blue, for example, 
use walking feet to line up at the door and wait for your teacher to come and get you. My general rules for the art room spell the word art. A is for always listen and follow directions. R is for respect the teacher, your classmates, and the art room. And T is for try your best and give glory to God. I hope we have an awesome year.